Tonight we're hearing from athletes and race organizers after extreme weather caused some frightening moments for a few of them during the DC Peaks Ultra Marathon. It took place in Davis County Saturday. All the runners, dozens lost for some time, now all accounted for, thankfully, and they are praising the efforts that were taken to ensure everyone's safety. Fox 13's John Franke has the story. Ultra marathon runners prepare for the unexpected, and that's exactly what happened in Davis County on Saturday. But those who are there say this incident proves why those preparations are just so vital. It was raining when we left, and but it was actually warm. That's how Annie McDonald describes the first several miles of what was supposed to be a 50 mile ultra marathon through Davis County. We got up to about mile um, six and it started snowing then and um, but it was light and it was kind of like, OK, we knew that there was going to be snow. We're prepared for this. As the athletes climbed the backcountry toward Francis Peak, light snow quickly turned into this. The wind was, you know, 30 to 40 mile per hour winds sideways and so you couldn't see anything. It was foggy. At that point, the finish line was no longer the goal. The goal became survival. I just kept following the, the girl in front of me. I was following her feet. That was the only thing I could see. When he learned of the blizzard-like conditions, Jake Kilgore, one of the race directors, ran to the athletes to deliver a plan. I told them the next aid station, the first aid station, Francis Peak, is only about half a mile to a mile away. You're going to go there, get warm, get some food, and run approximately five to six miles downhill to the Farmington aid station that we had set up at the Y. But it was a slow trek. Annie says she checked her post-race stats that indicated she was averaging a 30-minute mile in that walk to the aid station. And that's the coldest I've ever been in my life. And it was, uh, you know, and, and you knew you had to just keep going because um, you had to get to that aid station. There was no other way out. It took about five hours to reach the spot where organizers in search and rescue could maneuver their four-wheel drive trucks to get to the runners. The conditions were just too bad for vehicles to get any closer. To see those trucks, it was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> Everyone made it off the mountain safely. The word went out from Mick and Jake that, uh, you know, we need to get runners off the mountain, and they just all mobilized. Despite this unexpected race result, Jake plans to host this event next year. The ultra running community uh, thrives on risk and excitement and and completing hard things and doing difficult things. And Annie plans to be there. And I was shivering uncontrollably, and so I was incredibly grateful that they were that organized and that it was just like immediate. The Davis County Sheriff's Office tells us despite being in the cold for all those hours, nobody required a trip to the hospital. Any injuries suffered were minor and treated at the scene. In the newsroom, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.